Here is selection-based processing, done a bit badly, but hopefully you'll get the idea behind it. So first things first, I have a track, it's a very boring track, track. and it is simply to highlight and exaggerate what we're about to do. Here's the track. This is region-based processing. I'm gonna smack you on your face. <laughs> that was a region. Now there's no effects anymore. One bar, one. So it's split into three regions. Track, track, group. And if I, hold on, I'll Tracks, close group. this so that it looks like it should when you open it. Um, oh. I've got the inspector on. If I press uh, left and right arrow and then press the R key. End. That's end. If I go twice to the left. Beginning. The beginning, the middle. Effects. Is effects. And effects goes. Two ah! bars, four, three bars. Just that much. I have to stop it after I've played it. Ah! Two bars, two I'm bar. doing shift space to play it. And the bars, end four, goes. Six, three bars. That was a region. Three bars. So what I've done is essentially when it was playing, I split the, the uh, region just before the bap as it were, because that's what we're going to affect. And that's why I said this is a pointlessly exaggerated recording, but it's just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to go back to the two bar, two region, bars, which I've now gone to. Um, I don't have to do this, by the way, because it doesn't actually matter until I get into the part that needs being in, but it doesn't matter overly. So what you need to do, first things, is press the E key in Logic. Uh, let me turn off the off. Inspector Logic, uh, because if you don't, you will not be able to get to the track group, not the tracks group, and there is a difference, plural, uh, we want singular track group, and that is going to be explained now. Track group. The track group, Logic instead of the in tracks group, is to do with manipulating uh, the functions of one track. And this stumped me for a very long time, because I, for example, was looking to do audio to MIDI conversion, for example, taking the sound of a saxophone and turning it into MIDI. And I knew that I found it once, and I read it online, and I was all happy, but I couldn't find it for the life of me. And this selection-based processing is something similar. So without the editor up, which is the E key, you will not see the track group. Now you need the track group, track group. and you need to go track toolbar. into the toolbar here. In track tool, edit, menu button. And you should see edit, Function. and functions, menu button. View. Menu and a bunch of other stuff. We want functions. Function, press fun re selection based processing ellipses. And we want selection based processing. I'm going to press enter on this, and it's going to sound like the window's in focus. Listen to this, but it's not. Selection based processing, checked. Selection based processing, dialog, close button. Selection based processing, dialog. Functions, menu button, untitled, tracks, window. And as you hear, it kind of came up and then kind of went away very quickly. And that is because I think it shows to voiceover, but then it goes as a floating window in the background. So to get to this, you've got to do VOF2F2. Untitled. Window choose a menu four items. Selection-based processing and from Logic. And choose selection-based processing from Logic Pro X. Selection-based processing dialog. We're now in this window. And immediately I'm going to go to the end of it with a VO end because I need to check what is selected. And it'll probably say zero selected. And I think it will do that. Undo. Menu button. Nothing selected. Nothing selected. If I press right. Menu. Nothing selected. Men nothing selected. Okay. Why not? Tracks. Group. Let me. This, Logic Pro X. This is Logic Pro X. That was a re. Four beats. Ah! Three, two. Okay. It seems that it undoes the selection when you go into it. So what I had to do was press tab, which took me out of the selection based processing uh, tool and then if, uh, reselect my two bar, two. region that I wanted. And if I go back in, maybe it will now stay selected. Let's have a look. Untitled. Window choose selection based. Selection based menu bar. One region selected. One region selected. Perfect. That is, exa is exactly what I wanted. So explore this window at your leisure. I'm not going to go through all of it, but I'm going to show you what I would do just very quickly to add a, a stupid effect to this thing. So the first things first is we need to tick the A switch. And uh, you'll you'll understand about this when you look around the dialogue yourself. Close. Chat. Plug it. A. A button. Press. A, a is button. now button. A Ticked. button. Not that you'd know that by looking at this, but if you um, don't have hints on and you do V or Shift H. Set a switch. Make set the active plugin set. You need to make set A the active plugin set, or B, depending on what you're doing. So list group. There's the, there are two list boxes here. List or list, list group. groups. We need to go into any one of these, but depending on what you've got, whether it's A list or B list, we're going into A list in my case. In list button. Menu check mark. And I've already space seen design. that Space Designer is a recent plugin for me. I'm going to pick it. Space Designer. Sub menu. Stereo. Picking stereo. Selection based processing A. Dialogue. Selection based processing A. It's now gotten that selection. Two bypass. Factory default. Uh, sorry, that plugging up. Let's go to factory. Menu. Let's choose a really weird noise. Eight surround space. Warp effect. Because I just need this to be exaggerated so you can hear exactly what's happening. Warp effect. Moving. Press. Textures. It's a menu. Moving spaces. Let's choose this. Move all ambient current. Ambient current. It doesn't ambient matter exactly current. what it is. This is simply for demonstration purposes. Previous button. Ambient. Select tool bar. Bypass. And now. Two. Selection. Close button. I need to close this window because obviously this is a normal logic effect plugin window. Untitled. Tracks. Window. And now we tracks, need to group. do VOF2F2 again. Untitled. Window. Selection based. Selection Go back into process. here. Selection based. Channel strip setting. Channel strip setting. Pop plugins. A button. B button. List group. Insert. Pop up button. Space D button. And you'll hear that space D is now one of the options that's selected. So. Button. Button. Space D button. There's some blank things going on. I'm not quite sure. Button. Do these have help? This item has no. Button. No. This item has no. Uh. 
Somebody inform me what they do if you can. Space D, space D, space D button. Uh, I'm still in the list apparently, so sorry, I'll, I'll stop interacting. Out of list, group. With that list. List, split at, create new, split at marquee borders. Dim. Create new take button. And you can create new take. Um, I'm actually going to do this for demonstration purposes. Press create new take button. Um, this hasn't done it yet, by the way. You've got to apply all these changes at the end, so. Add effect tail button. I also want the effect tail. Add effect tail checkbox. When selected, the created file includes any instrument release and potential effect tail. Now, I don't know if this is checked by default or not. Gain. Add effect tail button. Press add effect tail I'm button. I'm going to press it in the hopes that it wasn't, and now it is. If it is and it wasn't, then we won't know till the end. Um, Gain. No change. Pre listen. Button button. 45.8%. Midnight. Minus zero, zero, zero. Mid button button. Oh. Pre listen. I wonder if I can do that. Pre listen. Button There's button. this blank pre-listen pre -listen button. thing. Press button. <laughs> Press button button. Okay, I think the effect tail must have been off. Let me check the effect gain. tail. Add effect, create, add effect, Press get no, button button. Press button button. Press button button. I'm not sure either way. Are you? Oh well, let, let's leave it as is and we'll see what happens. 20, midnight, minus one region, menu button, undo. Apply button. Apply. Press apply. Oh, it's taken button. my sound to the left, sorry, because I'm actually running through logic because I'm on the audio track, so. Apply, undo Ignore button. the weird sound. Close selection, close button. Press close button. Hit close. Track track three, audio one, track three, audio one, group. Track two, complete, track three, audio one, group one updated item. All right, logic I'll, I'll fix window. this by doing that. Let me turn the aux down to logic itself and uh, talk to you by the actual mic instead of logic. Uh, one bar. Live monitoring. So I've done the selection based processing, albeit crazily. Let's play this back and see whether the one region that I wanted selected is selected. All right, hitting play. Let's do this. This is region based processing. I'm going to smack you on your face. Two bars, four beats, five. Although why it's looping now, I'm not sure. Track group. Is cycle on? Let me turn. That was a region. Three yes, bars, it was. Three okay, cycle was on. So, from the top again, sorry about this. I'm an idiot. One bar, this one beat, one This region-based processing. I'm going to smack you on your face. That was a region. Now there's no effects anymore. See what I'm saying? Five bars, one beat. So, we've done it. Albeit convoluted and a bit strange. But play with this, and trial it out will probably get you a decent recording, unlike my failed one. But uh, I hope that that helps you to do something with selection-based processing. Of a sort!